Hello, Cody here from 3D Infotech, and today I'm comparing point clouds with polygonal models. In this project, I have a headlight part with both data types. The first thing you'll likely notice is how they look different. The point cloud, in yellow, is just that, a cloud or collection of measured points, whereas the polygonal model, in green, is a surface. Polygonal models are formed from point clouds by connecting points to draw triangles. I'll select some elements to highlight these points. Another aesthetic difference between the two, color maps are nicer to read when using polygonal models, especially in a detailed view. One benefit of polygonal models is that they always include vector data, whereas point clouds sometimes do not. In this example, my point cloud does not have vector data, or IJK coordinate data. Many tools benefit from using vector data. One instance is filtering by maximum angle. In this example, I'm filtering a plane by a max angle of 1 degree. I'll show the elements used to create the plane for each data type with and without angle filtering. As you can see, there is a significant difference between the data for the polygonal model when max angle filtering is active. However, with the point cloud, there's no vector data, so the angle filtering has no effect. Another benefit of polygonal models is their surface continuity. Tools such as cross sections and comparison points ideally work at very specific locations. When used with point clouds, this can be problematic, as data points may not exist at those specific locations. Fortunately, Polyworks has search distance parameters to account for this. This has been a brief comparison of point clouds and polygonal models. Thank you for watching.